Well, we're just one day away from the Breeders' Cup World Championships at Del Mar and Ray. Thankfully, we have not had any blockbuster news this week because usually blockbuster news is bad. Uh, things have been relatively quiet, although a couple of interesting items to talk about today. One of them is the jockey situation for Forever Unbridled in the distaff. What happened? Well, Forever Unbridled has been ridden by Joel Rosario the last six times, including twice this year. Uh, Joel's agent, Ron Anderson, had a commitment on the race, he said, from the connections of Forever Unbridled. The entries came out, and John Velasquez was named to ride the horse. Ron Anderson talked to the owner, Charles Fipke, could not get a reasonable explanation as to why suddenly the change came. Uh, he felt it was unfair to Joel because it didn't give him time to get another mount in the race. Uh, we, he went to the stewards. The stewards agreed and have ruled that if Forever Unbridled makes any purse money, finishing first, second, third, in the Breeders' Cup distaff, uh, the owner has to pay a 10% commission both to uh, John Velasquez and to Joel Rosario. So we've seen, a, we've seen plenty of times where an agent has spun trainers and owners giving two commitments in a race. I guess turnabout is fair play. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Uh, I don't like hearing about a jockey switch so close to a race, but it is John Velasquez, and Forever Unbridled is one tough cookie, and I think the chances of her being in the top three are very good in the Breeders' Cup distaff. Okay, so another situation is a photo popped up on social media uh, of Arrowgate's foot, and you never want to hear about foot issues so close to a race. And we're not saying there is an issue, but what's the story? Well, it did show up in social media. Uh, everybody wants to know what the big horse is doing, and he's still the big horse, even though Gunrunner may be favored. And I asked Bob Baffert, uh, what's the deal? Is that a patch on his foot? And he said, no, no patch, just Equilox, which is a product that's used for various purposes on horses' feet. He said it's used to help keep the horse's shoes on, and it's been the same all year. Now, as far as Bob Baffert is concerned, it's a non-issue. There is an old saying, though, no foot, no horse. So you always have a concern whenever you have any questions about a horse's feet. Well, Unbridled Song, the, the sire of Arrogate, very famously had a quarter crack in his front foot just before the 1996 Kentucky Derby. He ran with bar shoes, and I think that's likely what cost him the race. Uh, we're not suggesting anything is wrong with Arrogate, but uh, there are questions about it. Sure. Okay, that's going to do it for this edition of the News Minute. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you tomorrow. Any horse can develop certain types of lameness. Adequan IM, proven to reverse degenerative joint disease, stimulate cartilage repair, and improve overall joint function in the knee and hock joints. Talk to your veterinarian about FDA-approved Adequan IM. Safety not established in breeding horses, not for use in horses intended for human consumption.